Right, so now that we understand that we need to get some information from our user, what we do is we do a thing called declare variables. Now, um, no, I'll just write that declare variables. Now, a variable is something that uh, it, it changes. So it can be uh, your name, for example, or it could be um, a number, or it could be something that you may wish your user to give you some input into. And what we've got here is we've got a message box that says hello, and then we've got a message box that says what is your name, but nowhere really to type it. Now, this here is a variable that we're going to get from our user as an input. So the syntax or the code for declaring a variable in VBA is DIM, right? and we're going to declare your name and as, and when I press space, I get a big long list of different types of variables that I can use, uh, and it's huge. There's massive amounts of this. Now, what we know is that if we look at your name, for example, I just clicked on that, but don't worry about that, uh, it is... Um, Let's take, for example, my name. If we look at that, we can see that uh, it has a capital A and then an N D R E W, and these are all, you know, uh, yeah, I know you're going to error, you're not going to like me. So these are all um, characters that are put together, and we basically define that as a group of characters is a string, and you'll see here that. VBA says, oh, I know what a string is. I'm happy for that to, to be placed in there as a variable. And if I press enter now, you'll notice that it all goes blue and it fixes up the syntax as well. So now, what we can say is, I'm just going to delete that. Um, actually, I'm going to delete that as well. Now what we can say is, your name is now going to equal something. So we're saying to the computer, get ready you're going to get a piece of information that is going to be stored as your name. But we have to get it first. So we put in an input box, which is spelt with an N, an input box, and we say, let's do it the way we've done it before. We'll say, hello, what is your your question mark there and we'll do this. Now as I move along here, we, when we write programs we tend to um, uh, test them a lot and so we want to we want to you know take a bit of time out of testing um, by not having to constantly type our name in and so you'll see here there's a default that we can put in so I'm just going to demonstrate that so if I put in a comma You'll notice that, that goes bold across to here, and I'll put in a title of it, and I'll say, um, "Welcome, uh, what is your name?" Question mark. That's going to be the title of my input box. Uh, if I move across here, I'm just going to put in here, save me having to type it all the time, "MRB, right, Mr. B," right? and then I close that up. And you can see that now I have my input box, which is going to get the variable your name. So if I run this program now, it says, welcome, what is your name? That was that title that we put in. Hello, what is your name is the message. And then I've already defaulted it as MRB. Now, I can change that if I want. I can call it whatever I want. You know, it doesn't matter exactly what I want. I can go Mr. Blackwell. Uh, you know, I do get that opportunity to put that in, <coughs> but I'm just going to leave it at MRB just for the moment. If I choose OK, my program drops out because in that sequence there's nothing else in there. And if I wrote the sequence to that, I would say uh, get user's name, All right? And that would be my sequence of steps now. I haven't got these ones, so that would be there. And of course, I could put in more details about um, what the title title is, and, and you know, um, I could even put in there uh, declare 
your name as variable and I might even put in there in brackets a string just so that we know that that's I've declared your name as a variable and then get user's name um, but as you can see in that program I'm not doing anything with it you know so what I would do now is I would then say uh, just something simple just to prove that we've got your name msg box in a bracket I'll put in there your name now you'll notice that I haven't put in the inverted commas I haven't put any commas in I've just simply done that so if I now run this watch what happens now okay hello what is your name MRB if I press OK bingo it tells me what happens in that program so if I go alright it's not going to be MRB it's going to be Mr. Blackwell this time then if I press OK I get Mr. Blackwell so it's going to tell me now I just want to let you know that this is this your name variable gets stored in RAM so if you turn the computer off you're going to lose that information um, so it's not going to be stored on the hard drive or the physical hard drive uh, where you can get it I just want to show you this also um, this is also what we can do as well we can say dim your age as an integer because age is a number and an integer is a whole number so we don't really need you know point five six of your age we don't really care about that but what we can then say is all right uh, your 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 age equals uh, I'm just gonna save a bit of oh, yeah I know okay don't worry too much I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna say put that there and I'm gonna say hello what is your age just to save me a bit of time welcome what is your age and I better not put text in the default because it won't like it so I'm gonna put my actual age at the time uh, and when we run this one now we say hello what is your name and we say hello what is your age at 45 but when I press OK nothing comes up so what we need to do now is do this we can say MSG box we'll say watch this hello and now I put a space there and I'm going to say plus your name and put a plus sign and then I'm then going to say I can see that you are and put that there I'm still in the prompt because I haven't put a comma there to move on to the next thing I can see that you are I'm going to put a space there so it all spaces out properly and then you can see that I put plus signs in to put your name in this one I'm going to put and oh, not dollar signs and symbols and I'm going to put your age because these are integers that we're going to put in here and I'm going to put then years old and close off that and watch what happens now if I run this I go hello what's your name Mr. B hello what is your age 45 hi Mr. B I can see that you are 45 years old so that little message box there gets the your name variable it gets the your age variable and it puts it there using these symbols that's the correct syntax for VBA to get your message in there so that's a very detailed description of using variables and the next step is to talk about actually doing some, uh, creating a game and we're going to start uh, now actually creating an interesting game which will go through the entire tutorials uh, to explain all the different types of um, ver uh, control structures that we have next one will be binary selection so we've done declaring variables just then uh, changes your name you can write here changes your your age and we can say so the computer So the computer can do something with it. So, um, you know, uh, for example, eg display it. All right. So the next step will be 
to look at starting to create a game that really uses these things like binary selection.